I recently got the chance to do something a bit different. I used the Sony Xperia Pro iPhone to vlog my trip to the Cairngorms National Park to find a place I'd wanted to see for a really long time. A small hut that housed the weather station that recorded the UK's coldest ever temperature because I am a nerd. The Xperia Pro Eye's main 24mm rear camera houses a 1 inch sensor, so I was pretty excited to see what it could do. I tried to use the phone's multiple cameras and inbuilt mics as much as I could in this video to give you an idea of what you can produce in a real world situation with this phone. I'm now at Aberdeen Airport. I've picked up the hire car and I'm going to start heading over to the Cairngorms, hopefully find some really cool places to shoot before it gets too dark today. I've been driving through these incredible roads and I just, I just had to stop because this one was just too much for me. Look at that. It is crazy sun rays, the mountains. I can't wait to get over there now. I found it. I know it makes me a massive nerd but I'm genuinely so excited. I had to ask in the local shop because I could not find it. It was really obvious I completely missed it. There it is! And yes I know Altenhara also shares the same record at minus 27.2 degrees celsius but this old weather observatory was founded in like 1855 by Prince Albert and it's really cool so just let me have it okay? So there it is, the place where the coldest temperature ever in the UK was recorded. I am genuinely so excited to have seen it. I know, I know, but I, I am. Feels kind of apt that you can see some um, snow on the hills up there as well. Still lasting on the Cairngorms. Feel like I have to see snow while seeing the uh, the hut. It is time to head back to the hotel now. Um, it's getting a bit cold. It's getting a bit dark, and the roads around here always have loads of deer and wildlife and stuff. So I prefer not to drive when it's pitch black if possible. So got the hire car. Me and the Puma. Let's get back. It is a very cute morning. Check out these hills. Yeah, absolutely stunning morning. So I thought I'd come out before breakfast, um, get the cameras out, I've got the A7R4 with me on this trip and just capture some of this because how can you not? It is stunning. This morning I'm using the vlog screen, the little screen attached to a Manfrotto Pixie and the clip onto the camera and it just means I can make use of that one inch sensor, the 24mm lens because I think otherwise if you're not using a little mini tripod you're just a bit too close and it means you have to use the 16mm lens and then that's not as great. If you've got super long arms you'll probably be alright, I don't. So yeah I think for me I need something on the camera so I can attach a tripod otherwise I just can't get the length I need and also you can't like if you're vlogging and saying like look at this and then you're really close taking up half the screen it's not very helpful so yeah I think this is how I'd have to have it set up for vlogging um but wow yeah what a morning time to get the cameras out I think you can shoot DNG raw images with the pro eye so these are a few examples from the trip so far this one inch sensor is the same as we see from the RX100 Mark 7. The reason it's 12 megapixels rather than 20 megapixels is simply the physics of the build. But you do notice the quality difference having that one inch sensor. Next up, it was time to test the image stabilization, which is pretty important for vlogging. And the weather was not going to stop me. This is an image stabilizer. Oh, that's a fan. I'm pretending I'm doing something because I'm too embarrassed to people seeing me vlogging. The weather has definitely taken a turn. It is freezing and um, it's really sleeting as well. So they said there might be some snow or sleet, but uh, I found a cool little place to stop 
Um, got some lovely fog rolling over the hills, so have a look at that. So this is an image stabilisation test using the 24mm lens and I'm going to walk down a set of kind of uneven steps. Hopefully that looked good. This is a walking image stabilisation test. I'm just on flat gravel like tarmac surface, so let's see how it does. Time to get in the car. The sleep's getting definitely more sleety. And it's very, very cold out there. Ooh. But what about if you're just walking and showing off your surroundings without actually being in the frame? Right, this is an image stabilisation test using the 24mm lens just walking. This is no gimbal or anything. Just walking along. The screen is looking pretty good. Looking forward to watching this back. I wasn't sure I'd like this like screen set up on the back of the phone, but I have to say, although me personally, I get very nervous around like people seeing me do this sort of thing, so I find it a bit embarrassing, but that's my problem. Um, I actually love the setup. It's really nice. <laughs> I do think there is one major flaw though. So unless you have the Bluetooth controller, which, which I don't have, I just don't happen to have it. I can't use the screen to press record, which uh, it's a bit annoying. So on the side, you've got like a switch for on and off. You've got a flip switch so you can have the screen whichever way round you want. But I think not having the ability to actually just press record on the screen is really limiting. I don't really understand there must be something they can do. Obviously I can use the button at the top of the camera, but again, I have to be like around the screen a bit, which I don't know. It's just me. I, it's not unusable by any means, but I think that's some functionality that if they bought out a second one, they can maybe add in. I don't know. Yeah, let's see. Okay. Stop, please. Also this little cable, like just make it Bluetooth. Like, no one wants that. Bluetooth, please. A few moments later. Ah, oh, thank God. Whew. I didn't drive like a few miles away and then realized that I'd left the other lens and camera. This, by the way, is what I'm doing up here. This is why I've had the chance to bring this beautiful Sony new phone up to Scotland is because I'm testing out on the A7R4 a couple of new Tamron lenses. This one is the 35 to 150. It's lovely. It's even better when you take it with you and don't leave it on a bridge outside the road, which obviously I didn't do. This is just for YouTube, Tamron. It's just a joke for YouTube. I need a drink now. That was very stressful. Okay, so I can't see what I'm doing now because I've had to unplug the screen because in order to screen record the phone, uh, once I plug the screen in, you can't actually use the monitor on the phone. It works like a camera. You know, when you plug in a monitor, you can't actually view anything on the screen. So this phone works the same as that. Slightly annoying. I think that should be a selectable option, but there you go. That's where we're at. So to screen record right now, I've had to turn the rear screen off. So I'm hoping I'm in the right place for this. So this is the eye autofocus test. I'm wearing a hat as well, which probably doesn't help. Um, and I'm just gonna move about and see how it does. on my eye the whole time okay so I just watched that footage back and actually I think it did really well um, it picked me up when it dropped me I think it only dropped me a couple of times 
but when it did it then picked me up really quickly and I think that's actually really important because every camera will drop focus at some point right it's about how quickly it can lock back on and this was doing it really fast so I'm really happy with how the AF performed there especially as I was darting about so much you know because I'm so sporty and athletic so you can tell by the hat the next morning I was lucky enough to be treated to some snow as the trip came to an end which provided us with some very pretty landscapes. The Xperia Pro i has a serious spec list. In this video I wanted to show you some real world usage but remember you can find out loads of info on our website and I'll pop a link in the description for you. The last thing we needed to test with the Xperia Pro i was how it fared in low light. Being 12 megapixels and having that one inch sensor, I was pretty confident. So a little while before heading to Scotland, I took this phone to Berlin and I wasn't disappointed with how it performed at all. Even at night, in the rain, this phone offered some really clean and clear shots. It's easily one of the best phones I've used in such challenging conditions. For a phone, the Xperia Pro i has a lot of manual control in video and photographic modes. You can even do things like setting A and B focus points to do clean focus pulls. Along with the 1 inch sensor that uses the 24mm lens, there's also a 16mm lens that uses a smaller sensor and a 50mm equivalent lens that also uses a smaller sensor. So there's a lot of versatility for a phone camera. To find out more info on the Xperia Pro i, just follow the link in the description to our website. There's a ton of info there. You can also check out my Tamron lens review, which I was shooting up in Scotland whilst I was vlogging this video. I hope you enjoyed this and that it was helpful. Join us again soon for some more videos from Wex Photo Video.